let's say you are maintaining your business information in Excel, which is there in your OneDrive, as well as you are storing this all Excel data in SharePoint list. The problem here is that when new data is added in Excel file, you need to automatically synchronize with the SharePoint list. If you are doing it manually, then it will take time. And if updating data in SharePoint list, if the Excel data is updated and if it is not getting done properly, then it will create a wrong result and it will create a negative impact to the data perspective. So how you will solve this problem? So we need to design one process which will automatically update SharePoint list data if the Excel file data is updated. So how you can do that? Hi, this is Krupali from Know How Academy. I welcome you all to Power Automate playlist. So without delay, let's get started. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. First, you will learn how you can perform synchronization between Excel file and your SharePoint list data. So let me show you. So here is my Excel file, which is containing data of the employee. And I convert this Excel data into the table. If you did not convert, make sure that the data should be there in a table format. So select that, go to the data and sorry, go to the home tab and click on format as a table. And then in table design, you need to give the name of a table. So my table name is data EMP. Now that Excel file is there in my OneDrive. Now what next thing here in my SharePoint list, I want to synchronize the Excel data when new entry is added or something updated in the Excel file. So what I need to do, I need to design a Power Automate flow which will insert data if new data is added in Excel file and if existing data is updated and if the data is already there in SharePoint list, then automatically updation should be possible. So for that, you need to take one flow. So here I will uh, take a schedule flow which will run on daily basis. Why? Because every day you are making change in Excel file. So at a particular time or every day at morning or evening or night, whatever time you want to uh, schedule. So your data will be updated. So for that, I'm taking schedule cloud flow and keeping the repeat every day and give the name that is demo S Y N C that is synchronization. Okay. And click on create. Once you click on create, I suggest you to switch off the new designer because I like to work uh, in old designer. Then what you need to do, you need to select all the data from the Excel. So go to the flow and click on the new step and select least row present in a table from the Excel online business. So select the Excel online business and here scroll down and here you can see that you can search uh, least uh, row present in a table. So select that, then select the location of the OneDrive, uh, not OneDrive, but select the location of the Excel file from the OneDrive. So let me quickly select that. So it is there in my OneDrive. So I'm selecting OneDrive and in document library, I'm selecting OneDrive. Then file is there in my YouTube data folder. So let me just select that. So this is the Excel file. I'm selecting it. And from the table, uh, you need to select the name of a table which you gave at the time of converting data into the table. Then what you need to do? You need to compare each and every row of the Excel file with the SharePoint list. Why? Because right now SharePoint list is empty, but maybe data is there. So before inserting data, you need to compare it. If the data is there, then you do not need to insert, but for you need to just update it. So for that, uh, you need to select the get items or not head item. I just write head, H -E -T, head item. So select the get items uh, from the SharePoint. So select the get items action, then select the uh, site address. 
So my SharePoint list is there in my know how personal site. Then select the list name, then limit the data entry and all this thing. I don't want to do. So I will get all the data. So I need to select that. Now in advanced option, I need to filter the data based on the uh, title column from the SharePoint list. So here, uh, my first name column here, you can see that, but the schema name of the SharePoint uh, site is or SharePoint list is title. So here, what you need to write here in filter query, you need to write O data filter query. So basically, whatever expression you are writing, that is considered it as a filter O data. So write the column name, title. Uh, I think T is capital. So title. Then you should write EQ. Then you should select the uh, column name from which you want to compare. So here I want to compare the first name column data with the title column. So here I'm selecting first name column. Now you can see that apply to each automatically added. Why? Because in my Excel file more than one row is there. So each and every row I need to process it. So again go to the get items and complete the bracket. After that what you need to do? If you are getting data from the SharePoint list and if the data is there then I need to update it. So I need to check whether the data which I am getting from the uh, SharePoint list that length is greater than zero. If the length is greater than zero that means in SharePoint list data is there and if length is equal to zero that means uh, in SharePoint list no data is there so we need to directly insert the data. So click on add an action and here select the condition. Then you need to select uh, the data from the action which is uh, generated by the previous action. So for that here you need to go to the length and sorry not length but go to the expression and type a function called length. Okay and then you need to uh, write a round bracket and from the dynamic content you need to select the value that is list of item which is generated by the previous action so select that and click on ok and if that is greater than zero then what you need to do you need to update and if it is equal to zero then you need to insert the data so if it is yes so in add an action, what you need to do? You need to update the existing item. So here, uh, SharePoint, select the connector SharePoint. Now from the SharePoint list, uh, you need to uh, select the action called update items. So you need to select update item. So double click on that. Then again, you need to select the site address uh, in which you want to update. So my list is there in SharePoint site and the list name is demo employee and here in advanced option you need to update the column value or you can say row value based on column. So title in here you can see title, last name, age, gender and email. So these are the schema name. So when uh, I created a SharePoint list uh, I by default name of the first column is title but I change it as a first name but here it, it is appearing as a title. So here I want to update the first name which is there in Excel. Then again in the last name column select the Excel last name. I just did it two times. Uh, in age oh, select the age column from the Excel and from the gender Excel column gender is there. And email column is not there so I am keeping it as a blank. So if the data is exist that means if the length is greater than zero then uh, SharePoint list data will be updated but what if the data is not there in SharePoint list so in that case I need to add item in the SharePoint list so for that select an action create items and select the site address again select the site address and select the list again in advance select the respective column from the Excel so let me just click on the title and select the first name same for the rest of the thing okay so data is added so what basically in condition what i did if the length is greater than zero that means if the data is there in sharepoint list then i will update it if data is not there then i will edit data that means create an item so let me click on save and here id is required 
so basically what data i need to update so here you need to select the id that means let's say here uh, in excel file uh, some updated data is there and it is there in excel file or not in excel file but it is there in sharepoint list so what you need to do whatever the id of the uh, row that id i should update here in the sharepoint list so for that i need to mention the id so click on the id and here you need to select the id which is currently processed in the excel file or which is currently processed in sharepoint list so that id it will update so i saved it sorry i did it and click on save now let me test it let me click on manually because you know every day it will execute at 10 am so i need to wait till next day so let me click on test manually then run flow and click on done then you will see that your flow is running and make sure that your excel file is closed if your excel file is closed then it will generate an error so make sure your excel file is closed before performing data updation okay so here you can see that it is done flow run successfully so let me refresh it now here you can see that data is inserted from the excel file now let me open that excel file and change some data okay so let me just here add one new information uh, let's say rinsey then patel and let's say age is 30 and female so i added one new information and in existing information i am converting I am updating some information manually and I am updating the I age, let's say 56. Okay, so I have changed data in Excel file. Now what I need to do, I need to make sure that the new row should be added in SharePoint list and whatever updation I have performed in the first name and in the age column that should be affected in SharePoint list. So here you can see that right now only 5 information is there. And in Excel, six informations are there. And here in first name and the age uh, information is there before the update. Now, let me close that Excel file. Let me go to the flow and let me go to the edit and again test it. Click on run flow. So let me click on done and wait until the flow execution done. So here you can see that my flow runs successfully. And let me refresh the SharePoint list data. And you can see that one new information is updated and here you can see the information which I have done here. Krupali um, underscore update that is done and here in 56 I changed the uh, age of John for uh, 56 before that it was I think 42 or something. So you can see the data is updated and it is inserted. So this way you can synchronize Excel file data which is there in cloud with the sharepoint list so this flow will execute on every day at 10 am you can change time from here okay so it will execute on interval day and it will execute not on 10 am but at 4 30 am it execute so you know you can set the time and everything and then it will run okay so you do not need to worry about the manual updation in sharepoint list before ending this video let me tell you what you have learned from this video you learn how you can automatically synchronize excel data to sharepoint list thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out us stay curious keep learning